Hey guys, welcome back to Chicago Bobby, and I got you another World of Tanks Epics replay. And so, this is me in my FV201 A45. And then I'm a. Yeah, this is on Mur Muravanka, Muravanka, whatever. On counter. And I'm heading up onto the hill at the F3 spot. And yeah, I usually go there. Um. Yeah, for like tanks with good gun depression. But uh, as I continue, this is like my first commentary over some World of Tanks gameplay. So I want to see what you guys think about it. I don't know, leave a comment, like it, don't like it, I don't know. Just do whatever, see see what I care. <laughs> but actually, I do care, but uh, yeah. I want to know you guys' opinion on me talking over this. See if you want more, or you just want me to shut up and just show you some raw gameplay. Yeah, this is a game in my FV201 A45. And right here, I pick up my first kill on the VK3000 OP. It's far going good. 300 damage. Kill. Yeah. Well, right now, I like this tank. It was a pretty good tank while well, I had it. But I don't have it now because I suck so much I didn't complete the mission. <laughs> Uh, the mission was way too much for me to handle, and I wasn't able to complete it. But, uh, yeah. But for the rental period, uh, this was one of my good games in it. And so right now, we lost two tanks, and the east is completely gone. Tried to take a few shots at that AMX 12T, then I hit that FV201. Take a couple blind shots at him, see if I can, you know, pick up a, another kill. Try to hit this Amex 12T, but uh, this tank has such bad accuracy that, yeah, it's not really good at hitting at long ranges, but it has such good rate of fire that it doesn't matter if you miss, like, once at long range because you're reloaded to take another shot. Not at all. So that FV201 pops up. Don't know how I didn't hit him there, but okay. He disappears. So far, we're down still two tanks, but we're capping, which is, I think, a good thing. Bounce off his side armor, which I don't know how that happens. Then the 12T pops up out there. Try to take a third person shot. Of course, I missed though. Then another FV201 pops up. Uh, type 58 pops up. Too many targets for me to handle. But yeah. Amex 12T makes a mistake popping out. And uh, he pays for it. With his tank. Take a tracking shot from the T34-1. But I put two shots into him. And uh, I barely miss. The third. I don't know. That should have been a tracking shot more than anything. Uh, missed the FE201. Hit him there. Yeah. Lock on to the Type 58. Hit him. So far, I've done 1200 12 damage, not 12,000. And got two kills. But right there, I took two big hits. Probably from the T34 1 and the IS. That's back there. But uh, right now, looks pretty even. 7-7. Seven 9-7, to seven. Nine to seven actually, right now. Still at 1200 damage. Damage. Then that FV201 gets hella screwed up. T34-1 pops out. Stupidly auto-lock onto him. Not even aiming. But then, I get to hit him there. Let's locate another target. And I pick up the kill. Three kills, 15 right damage. Bounce the Type 58 for some odd reason. I don't know what that was. Yeah. 10 to 8, 15 right damage. Three kills. So far it's looking quite good, but we need to pick up a bit. We want to win this. Um, but we can still relax a bit. Try to take a few punch shots at this IS. Kill him for my fourth kill. Ready to fire. 
Then the T-29 goes out, the Hellcat goes out, and I start firing at this panther. Now, if you see to the right, there is this panther on almost 1,000 health. And you'll see how badly he screws up right here. So the panther is basically a two-shot for him right now. I put in another shot into him, all the panther has to do is hit him once, but nope, he has to die. <laughs> and right now, it is just me against four tanks. Right now, the SC-152 is telling me I'm an idiot, told me to get into cover, but no, I'm a retard, whatever. But then the VK cheers me on, and that's my driving force to hit this Hellcat. And the great turret armor of this tank bounces his shot. I only take tracking damage from Panther, kill him. There's just the T-29 and the Type 58 left. There, are, I realize they were back there, so I hurry up to this hill, try to get into a hold down position, and get ready for this T-29. I load APCR because I want this damage to count. And the turret armor holds up again, blocking his shot, which allows me kill him off and I'm able to finish off this Type 58 and right there ladies and gentlemen was 3000 damage and my first Radley Walters <laughs> that was my first ever Radley Walters in the tank I'll never ever get to play again yep so there's the stats got 52,000 credits 1500 base XP which I believe yes base XP Made 22k in profit, did 3200 damage, 1200 that was, and sniper view I guess. Fired 44 shots, hit 39, panicked 25 of them, blocked 500 damage, which I guess was from that Hellcat and the T29. Yeah. So yeah, there you have it, my first ever Radley Walters and another World of Tanks Epics. So, tell me if you guys want me to do this more often, if you want me to commentate over the World of Tanks Epics videos, and if you want, I don't know, yeah, that's about it. And also, uh, I don't only have to show you my replays, you can send replays of your own which you think has like a funny moment or in the whole game in general is just amazingly amazing you can send them to chicago bobby yt at gmail.com that is chicago bobby yt at gmail.com send me a link through world of tanks replay and i'll probably upload them on to youtube so yeah see you guys in the next video